We are going to review System Rescue CD in this episode. It's a very useful tool to have when things go wrong. I've used it to reinstall broken grub menus, troubleshoot disk issues, extract data from non-bootable systems, and even securely wipe hard disks before machines are surplused. It has many disk partition tools, common Unix utilities, and support for a wide variety of file systems. I think of it as the Swiss Army knife of rescue CDs. I should mention that you can also install this on a USB thumb drive. It doesn't have to be a CD. Let's go ahead and look at some screenshots. You can just see that this disk is loaded with options. You can boot 32 or 64-bit kernels. Included in this disk are some very common utilities that you can boot. I'll talk more about these later. On this next screenshot, you can specify the key map. Then you're greeted with a command prompt where you can configure networking or start X. Then the next couple screenshots show X running. These screenshots are pretty good, but let's go ahead and try Rescue CD. I downloaded the ISO and configured a virtual machine to boot it. After starting the virtual machine, we're greeted with the boot menu we saw earlier. Let's explore the menus a little bit. An interesting menu option is the Linux floppy disk images. Here you'll find several useful tools, for example memtest. Say there is some suspect memory in the machine and you want to test it. Or down here you'll find dban. It's a great tool that allows you to quickly and securely wipe hard disks. You can check out the show notes below for website links for memtest and dban. As you can see there's lots of options in the 32 and 64 bit menus. You can change the resolution, boot text only, pipe the output to the console. Let's go ahead and just boot the default kernel and see what we get. Like we saw in the screenshots earlier, we're greeted with a command prompt. From here we can configure networking or interact with a command prompt like you would on any normal system. There is also a host of graphical software in X. Let's go ahead and start X. I'll just rifle through the menus to give you an idea of what's here. Well, that's about it for this episode. Hopefully you find Rescue CD useful. All right, that concludes this episode. Thanks for watching. If you would like to get notified about future episodes, please subscribe to my mailing list. You can do this by going to the Get Notified link in the header and entering your email address. Have questions, comments, or concerns about this episode? What about episode ideas? I'd love to hear your feedback, either good or bad. Shoot me an email. Justin at sysadmincasts.com